What's up everybody, Cole Sands here with another uh, segment for What's On My Deck. Um, this week's going to be brought to you by Fishco, uh, one of my awesome soft pla plastic sponsors, and then uh, Yo Zuri, um, my hard bait sponsor. I love their stuff and uh, definitely very blessed and thankful to have both of them on board this year. Um, so, what are we going to have on our deck? So first, that Diamond Baits Alabama rig. Um, really caught them on it last week. Throwing the three and a half for the smaller swim baits and the four and a half inch for the uh, bigger swim baits. Um, last week it did seem like they liked the bigger swim baits. Throwing the 3.8 um, swim baits from Fishco. Throwing the uh, the OG swimmers. I have a pack here. Um, they seemed to be on that bigger bait last week, but also caught them throwing the slim swimmers the week before. Um, this is the package the diamond baits come in. Uh, awesome Alabama rig, super strong. Throwing that a 20 pound Yozuri T7 fluorocarbon, a 7.6 heavy Shaman Series Witch Doctor Tackle Rod. Uh, next off, I said they're eating big bait. One of my clients was nice enough to give me a 9 inch KG, KGB Shad um, Glide Bait. Gonna have it tied on, gonna sling it around a little bit. Throwing that on a, so like a 7-Eleven um, Witch Doctor Tackle Kahuna Extra Heavy Glass Rod. I like her a glass rod, I'm throwing a really big glide bait. Uh, putting that on 25 pound fluorocarbon, uh, Yozuri. Definitely don't want to break it off. Um, next off, we're going to be throwing a Rattlin' Vibe. This should be an awesome week to throw a liftless. Uh, that is the 3 8 ounce Rattlin' Vibe there. I'm going to throw that one and the bigger one. Uh, that's the Royal Purple color. Um, awesome color. Um, throwing that on 16 pound Yozuri T7 fluorocarbon. Put that on a 7-2 Sermon series. Half glass, half graphite rod. Um, awesome, awesome trap rod. Uh, going to be throwing that just around a lot of shallow flats, back of pockets, stumps, all that good stuff. If you're interested in what I'm targeting, uh, Fishing for Dummies, I do a weekly map study, really break down exactly what I'm looking for. That link will be in the bio. I uh, appreciate everybody who subscribed to that. Um, and then that Royal Purple is just always a good color. Uh, the past few weeks, the Jerk Bay Bite has been awesome. Throwing that on 12 pound Yozuri T7 fluorocarbon. Put that on a 610 Sermon Series with Dr. Tackle Rod, but I'll put that on a medium. Um, I'll probably throw the, I got a deep one tied on, uh, that ghost pearl shad has been the color lately. Um, uh, but I'll probably put that on a, um, more of a shallow diver as it warms up throughout the week. Uh, next off more Rattler vibes. Um, same setup for that with the seven, two medium heavy sermon series. That's the five eight ounce Rattler vibe. Uh, that's the one knock. Um, the water is a little bit cleaner. Sometimes I like that one knock and that cleaner water. That's the Matt crawfish color. It's going to be a killer. Got the new color out, that burn orange crawl. It's actually, y'all can't buy it yet, but yeah, it'll be available here in about a month. I'm gonna be throwing it, getting some uh, some experience with it, see how they like it out in Chickamauga. Uh, throwing all that on 16 pound fluorocarbon. Um, and like I said, the water's pretty clean. Got another liftless tied on. As you can tell, I'm expecting to really catch them on a liftless. Always good to have several colors tied on. Um, each day's different and you know, um, I'm just gonna kind of figure it out. Because lately I haven't been throwing it a ton. It's been more jerk bait and Alabama rig, but uh, that's the ghost pearl shad. I've caught probably more giants on Chickamauga on that color than maybe any other color, with the exception of maybe that red one. Um, then for the last two, I'm going to be throwing just a uh, jackhammer. Um, fire crawl is always a good one. Put that also on the sermon series. Uh, and then I'm going to be throwing another jackhammer, more of a shad pattern. Uh, with these, I throw a 20 pound line instead of 16. I just like the 20, I, I think it helps me keep it above the grass. Um, got a little prototype uh, uh, chatterbait trailer from Fishco that y'all probably can't see yet. Um, and then, uh, gonna be throwing, as you can tell, I'm gonna, I think this is gonna be a week where a lot changes as it's you know, just so warm. I'm also gonna be throwing just like a single swim bait, like a bigger five inch version. That's the True Bass. Um, put that on a 7.2 heavy. Uh, Voodoo 2 Witch Doctor Tackle Rod. Uh, I just like a little bit heavier rod when I'm throwing a single swim bait. And then one more thing I'm going to be throwing a lot this week just a little Damiki rig. This is a small little uh, 316th ounce jig head. Um, and that is Fishco's new little uh, forward facing sonar. We don't even have a, a name for it yet. It's going to come out next week. We're working on the name. But a little uh, forward facing sonar minnow. It's got a real cool bottom design that it kind of quivers when it falls. Um, and I'm going to be throwing that out there a lot, just on a 7.2, um, medium action, uh, Witch Doctor Tackle, uh, Shaman Series Rod, um, 
and uh that's that's on my deck that's what's on my deck this week should be an awesome week of fishing um seen a lot of big fish get caught lately we had a couple awesome guide trips last week so uh good luck to everybody on the water and i'll catch y'all next time